So in today's video, um, I'm going to go through how you can import files into Twinfield. So to begin with, I've logged into my Twinfield account and the place that we're going to spend the most time in is your file manager. So this can be found at the top right hand corner and it's the little fi file icon that you can see here. So if I click into that, any files that you're importing into Twinfield need to go into here and any files that you're also extracting from Twinfield um, will also get deposited into the, this area where you can download it from. So uh, what sort of files are you going to need in order to do uh, your imports? So all the templates that you will require to import information into Twinfield can be found within the knowledge base. So that's underneath this little question mark icon here. I'm just going to click onto that and this will bring up the Twinfield knowledge base. So within here, you can see that there's an option for Twinfield import files. So I'm going to click onto that. And if I scroll down to the bottom here, it gives me an option to download a zip file. So I'm just going to download that. So that's a good thing to have handy because um, it's going to have every single file that you could possibly think of that you would want to import into Twinfield. So let's just open that up and have a little look. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of different um, file types here, but we're going to look at um, journal transactions as an example. So I'm just going to open up that file. Okay, so top row is going to be your header row. So you'll leave that as it is. And Twinfield have populated an example journal import in here, which you will override with your information. So code is going to be the transaction type code. So J and L is always going to be your journal. You'll then specify your currency, your date, the accounting period, the number will specify what transaction this is. So looking at this, we can see there's two separate transactions here as Twinfield will read this file and realize that these two are the same and these two are the same. So there's two separate transactions. You'll then fill out your general ledger account, uh, any second dimension. So that could be a customer code, um, a creditor code or a cost center, for example. H will be another dimension. So if you use the project functionality, you would pop your project within here. You then have your amount, which is always going to be an absolute value. So no positives or negatives. You'll then specify debit credit, description, which needs to be less than 40 characters, invoice number and fact code if applicable. So I'm just going to fill out some information in here. Um, so let's pop in a date and then we will upload it. So I'm going to do all my transactions on the 25th of September. I'm going to put that to period two within my accounting system. I'm going to leave it as two separate transactions, um, but let's change these nominal codes because these aren't relevant to me. So I'm just going to pop in code 4000 there, 4001. Let's pop in my creditor's control account and my creditor, uh, I'll leave that as it is, creditor 2000 and my office cleaning, which I want to go to 7801. So you'll notice that the row that has a VAT code specified, you're going to put the net VAT amount, um, sorry, the net amount here because Twinfield will automatically work out what your VAT amount is and we'll post that against your VAT liability code or wherever it is um, specified to post it in your VAT settings. Okay, so I'm happy with my journal. So I'm just going to save that in my demo company file. Um, journal transactions. Okay, so I'm ready to import this now. So I'm going to go back into my twin field and into my file manager. So now I can click browse and this will open up my desktop and I can see that my file that I just saved down is here. So I'm just going to open that up. So that will then put it into this section below just so that you can check that the file that you've selected is correct. If it is, you'll upload it. Now that's not uploading it into your accounts. All it's doing is uploading it into your file manager. So once it's in your file manager, um, you will click on this little blue icon here 
and you'll click import. Now Twinfield will recognise what the file type is based on the number of columns within your file. So you can see here it's recognised there's 13 columns and therefore it knows its journal entries. Now there might be more than one import file that has 13 columns so it might not have recognised the correct one. If it hasn't you can click on the drop down here and you can select which option that you were actually trying to import. If I just untick this option here, it will then give me options for all the different file types that I could possibly um, import. But I'm just going to leave that on now because it's selected the correct one for me. So what, I'm happy with that, so I'm just going to click process. So that's now importing. Um, this little button up here is your refresh button. So that's going to tell you um, when it's done. I'll also get a notification up here to tell me when my journal has finished importing. So I'm just going to click refresh now. And what I can see is that I've got a little green icon uh, on the right hand side here, which essentially means that everything in that file has uploaded correctly. Um, I also get a little log uh, here that I can download. So if I click on that, I'll download it and I can open it up. Now, if my file hadn't imported, um, I would get a little red symbol here and I would also get a log. And within that log, it would tell me what the issue was. So instead of saying saved, it would say not saved and it would specify the reason why. So then you can go away, um, open up your file again, correct the errors and then try and re-import. An important thing to note is it will import all the lines that it can and it will just not import the lines that it can't. So if you have a long file of 100 lines and 96 lines have imported, if you want to um, correct the errors, you will only need to import the four lines that weren't imported the first time. Now, um, once that's been imported and I'm happy with it, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete those files out of my file manager to keep it neat and tidy because I no longer need them in there. So I'm just going to delete those out. Um, and that is my journal imported. So just to check that it has imported okay, I'm just going to go into my financial professionals transactions and into my provisional transactions. If you're importing journals, they're always going to get imported as provisional. I can see that two transactions are in there. And if we open it up, there we are. So they've got my two journals that I just imported. Um, I can open up those journals as well if I wanted to amend any information on there. If I come out of that, it's also got a, a timestamp on there of when we uploaded those transactions.